this uh, video we are going to it's just like the uh, last video it got uh, you know logging out uh, it stopped uh, um, capturing so you can see that switch user uh, is down here if you want to oh that was nice the so this one is the capturing okay capturing is going on so uh, in this one I want to touch based on how to update or patch your Mac and that is uh, it's very important to keep your uh, any operating system best and especially enterprise level if you if you don't have the latest patch applied to your uh, device uh, you will not be able to go online or not online as in internet but online as onto that network for example at Amazon we have uh, uh, very strict guidelines that uh, if the patch is not applied there's a certain number of days that a device will be given grace period and after that that device is not uh, getting access to the network and then basically you have to go make sure that you apply all the security windows update patches and then you know restart and make sure that it's, it's up to that uh, patch level version level where before it can access the uh, our network same thing is true for android i had an android it had a very very old patch and basically i break my device connecting to the, <laughs> the network uh, and basically uh, you know it's totally gone i had to buy a new phone and uh, i'm I'm just lazy to go and get it uh, the OS installed again uh, so the updating uh, on the, the there was like a pop-up appearing bothering me for the update now it's no longer here it's uh, that was somewhere here uh, but you can manually update your uh, operating system by going to uh, system menu Apple menu whatever you want to call go to system preferences and the update i think we covered it in the previous video but i wanted to do it again especially the so anybody uh, who use their device for um, corporate environment they want to make sure that uh, it is up to that patch level or the software level that the company requires and if you if you come across a problem where the device is not connecting it's uh, like a I'm pretty sure 90 95 percent of the time it will be that other than you have like DHCP issues that I see very common uh, people mess up settings in there and then it's not connecting to the other one like if the, it was working fine this morning and then by lunchtime it's not it will be this that the grace period has ended or you know the patch level um, you have to make sure that it's uh, up to whatever your company policies at that time is that it has to have this certain uh, patch level for it to connect and that will be it but for like uh, personally I don't jump on every update that's available the reason being is some of the time these uh, updates are pushed uh, with some bugs in it that can hinder your uh, productivity so if it is not critical i try not to install it right away what i will do is i will uh, wait three to seven days or if there is a project going on like something important the pro on that machine i will wait until that is done and now i know that machine is free we do not need uh, whatever is going on on that then I will go ahead and update it so that saves me that if I update it and something is messed up and that that program or whatever we're running on that machine a virtual machine or anything and that stops and now we rather than being productive we are going to find out hey what happened and if that patch was the issue and there is no way to you know roll, roll, roll back it we are in trouble so that's why uh, keep in mind if you um, I like to do it if you want to uh, if you feel like this is good yeah do it do that but do update your uh, once you're done do update your machine all right so this is it for 
this video i hope this helps help you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one